Welcome back. As you can see, um, I also put a bunch of coats of nitro. I think there's about eight coats of nitro on this. And this is now Sonic Blue. Um, so I was originally thinking about doing black and then uh, kind of taking that off. Um, but it changed my mind. You know, that happens sometimes. Um, but I decided that I would really like this kind of Sonic Blue look and then the dark um, wood that's under it. So. Uh, so what we're going to do is we are going to take an X-Acto knife and some other tools and we're going to start to lightly kind of take off some of this Sonic Blue so that we're left with a, um, a relic, light relic looking finish. Um, looks like a worn guitar. Um, the other thing I did was, um, if you remember when I put the graphite on the neck um, as well as that stain, um, I finished that with tongue oil and then I sanded it back um, so you have a little bit of wearing on the frets and actually that graphite really brought out the grain because this is maple but it looks like um, it looks like a totally different wood now because it's there's so much grain visibility in it um, so that's pretty cool and uh, I'm pretty happy with that and uh, I think I like how they're gonna go together I think it's gonna be a nice complement to each other and yeah, so let's get to it. Now that I've done the relicking that I want, I am going to take this super cool stuff. And this is copper foil. And I'm going to fill the electronics cavity where all the pickups and the wiring is going to be with this. And the idea is to create what's called a Faraday cage. And that's just a really fancy scientific term to say uh, this will block out all of the interference that typically would inter would uh, be picked up on single coil pickups. So if you're doing a Tele, you're doing P90s, you're doing a Strat with single coils, um, everything helps to cut down on hum. If you're not buying noiseless pickups and you like that vintage tone, but you don't necessarily want a ton of hum. So this stuff is awesome. <laughs> Some people will use aluminum foil, um, which is in a similar way to this, um, but there's a very thin adhesive on it. The copper is just so fantastic and it's so easy to work with, and it's like 50 cents more. So just get the copper. I watched a video one time, this guy saying, yeah, I use this aluminum stuff, it's basically as good, and I saved 50 cents on like an item that was gonna last him for like 10 guitars. And I'm like, that's what you're really in this for. <laughs> um, but if you're gonna take the time to do it, I recommend the copper foil.
now that I have this done, I want to show you all the hardware. And we'll see how this is going to look. So. Here is our hardware. So here you can see, I got the uh, vintage style um, strut tuners. You get the split peg head. Boop. Cool stuff. Oh yeah. Here's our tremolo um, and our bridge. This is the uh, Whammy bar. You can see all this stuff is aged. That's my intent. So there's the bridge saddle and the tailpiece. Looks good. I believe this is the Goto bridge, um, but I may have to check to remember. And it doesn't say it anywhere, which is cool. So that's going to set in like this. Oh yeah. Very cool. And here's the jack. So that's the hardware, and then this is the loaded pick guard, and here's the extra. So this is the 50s, um, this is a loaded pick guard of the 50s um, Tex-Mex strat pickups, and this is all these are 250k pots, um, your standard Fender five-way switch, and uh, feels good. Yep. So this bad boy will lay in here. Like that. Oh yeah, that's going to be cool. Oh, this is gonna look old school. Yeah!